welcome to the Hive Stadium in northwest London for this friendly between Nigeria and Senegal. Two teams coming out for this quite important friendly with Nigeria having some big games coming up against Cameroon, the World Cup qualifiers soon. Important to see a few uh, important uh, players getting some game time. And now we have the national anthems. all Nigerians here in this evening. London has a really big Nigerian population. About 100,000 Nigerians live in London. Although this game is sparsely attended, there's about 1,500 fans here, uh, mainly in the main stand below me. Um, probably a few Senegal fans, but not many. This is obviously the first of two games coming up for Nigeria. On Monday, they play the same ground against Burkina Faso who are instantly are in the same group as Senegal for their World Cup qualifying group. Uh, running through the teams for you, if you haven't already seen those, starting for Nigeria is, we have uh, Achijile, Emaro, Ekon, Balogun, Musa, Inacho, Moses, Agpe, Onazi, Awobi, and Nadidi playing. Quite a few British based players. Nadidi obviously plays for Leicester, Awobi at Manchester City. Inacho, obviously, I mentioned. Musa obviously plays uh, a Leicester. So a few here haven't had many uh, that far to come for this game. Literally jumped in their cars and came down the road. For Senegal's Nandai, Wage, Coyote, Kulibai, Mbengu, Ndoi, Gaye, Duf. Sao, Nugeti and Diallo are starting for Senegal. Each team has about five or six substitutes, uh, which are named as and when they come on. There's now going to be a minute silence for the terrorist attack in London yesterday. Uh, people lost their lives on Westminster Bridge, so there's going to be now a minute silence for the people who lost their lives in London. 24 hours ago.
impeccably observed by all the Nigerian fans here, the majority of whom obviously all live in London. So the Nigerians huddling there, the Senegalese huddling, Nigeria obviously playing in the all green strip, playing uh, right to left uh, <laughs> up against the goal. Where there's literally no one, no one in the stand over there behind uh, the Senegal goalkeeper. Um, but anyway, hopefully we'll see a good game, uh, important for both teams to get a bit of form with these big games coming up in the summer. So hopefully we'll see a fine match. Ian Acho standing over the ball, taking this kickoff. I have no idea where the referee comes from. I do apologise for that. He's not on the team sheet. I don't have no idea where he's from. Let's hope he doesn't have an absolute nightmare. And a Wobi looking far forward as well. And here we go. Nacho plays the ball back to a Nazi. There's all oh, quarter possession already, and the Senegal players straight in there. Big game for the uh, Senegal. They haven't played very well the last couple of games, and these two teams haven't actually met since 2006, where Nigeria won that game 1-0. So it's been a while since these two countries have played each other. And now Senegal now bringing the ball forward. Koulibaly, probably their best player, probably plays for Napoli. Uh, big player for them, bringing the ball forward. He's played 16 times for his country. And the ball goes out. Chujeli takes the throw. Gets the ball back. Neat football so far, slowly building. The Kong plays the ball wide. And straight back now to the keeper. Akpe, who plays for Chipper. What a great name. Good ball over the top, but well defended. Quite a high line there from the Senegal uh, defenders. But Nigeria now knocking the ball around competently. Good start, good movement. And that goes off for a throw. Anazi seeing quite a lot of the ball at the moment, but now it's a chance for Niacha, but slightly uh, overhit there. And brought away by Wagu, making his debut for Senegal tonight. Nazi again, moving the ball now, now Senegal now moving forward now, but a misplaced pass, and Moses down the line now, for Iheanacho, does well, great trickery, oh, the Nigeria fans like that, good work for Iheanacho there, and it's the first corner, Iheanacho only playing the seventh game actually for Nigeria, playing, scoring four goals, a very good ratio, The taken now, kind of players moving forward, more sort of zonal marking going on the back, poor corner, didn't beat the first man, goes off for a throw. And it'll be Moses who takes, who plays for Orient in uh, France. Looking for a, uh, he's looking for a long throw, there's very little movement for him. No one to really give the ball to. On the end, he plays the ball back. To Awobi, obviously plays down the road for Arsenal. They're having a wretched time at the moment, losing five of the last six games. And Awobi, oh dear, a little bit late there. Awobi, a little bit late. Referee didn't like that. And that's a free kick to Senegal, just inside their own half. there and again another offside there and Senegal now putting the ball playing it wide raking pass 
to Ndoy. Does well. Senegal finally are knocking the ball around Ndoy. Long ball in from the middle. Well, both defenders missed it, but thankfully it fell nicely for Amarayo. Fell nicely for him. But now Senegal beginning to settle into this game. But that's an overhit pass, and that will be a throw. Ekon playing in the middle for Nigeria tonight. Obviously plays his football for Ghent in Belgium. Tall, lean defender. And a long throw again dealt with by Senegal. Who would probably fancy their chances. I mean, the FIFA rankings, Senegal are ranked 28th in the world and Nigeria 41st. Although with Raw, their new manager, they've won their last couple of games and are certainly putting in better form than Senegal. Important game really for both teams this evening here in London. Might try one, does all oh, deflection, and that was travelling, that was going, but it came off one of his own players and the ref has given a goal kick, but that certainly was travelling. Uh, unfortunately tonight we don't have any replays, so if you are thinking, sitting at home going, where's the replay? There isn't any. Held up, bit of a wind here today in London. It's freezing cold, it's about four degrees here. Um, so it's nice to see most of the players wearing short sleeves and not too many gloves on show. Throw, knocked on. Hopefully Nigeria can deal with this one. They do. Nice turn down the line. But that's put out of play there by Echi Jelly. And a throw tonight to Senegal. Wagyu on his debut will be taking it. Cecil quite nicely so far in this game. Wobi couldn't get the ball. Here he is now. Long ball, but no one at all. So that was Moses, the breaking part. That was Moses who played the long pass to nobody. In Senegal now, nice turn. Away they come, Kudabali. Tall player, isn't he? Good turn. Senegal now cuts inside, but good defending there. And came out into the keeper's arms. Uh, what a let off that was for Nigeria. Wow. Extraordinary. Nigeria, their slight wake up call there, playing the ball, sort of overplaying the ball at the bat now. It just shows you they're going to be very, very careful. It's the good Senegal team. Moses does well. A Nazi in the middle there, loses out. Indeed he loses out. Overlap now. Wagyu's seen a lot of the ball so far on this right hand flank for Senegal. Wins a corner, first corner for Senegal. And Wagyu's settled them very, very well so far. You can't see on the camera, this main stand's pretty full now here at the Hive in Barnet, northwest London. Corner be taken by Ekong. And there's about five players in the middle, all marked. Every player back for Nigeria. They got a real scare a couple of minutes ago. Plays it to the edge, header, free header. Keeper's out, no, the keeper's flapped in it. Keeper making his debut there, flapped in it slightly. There certainly is a bit of a wind here. Akpe making his debut, I believe, tonight in goal. Sorry, I beg your pardon, he's played four games. He's played for Chippy United, his uh, fifth cap, but he didn't look that comfortable from that corner but they did get away with it again. Senegal now really settling into this game and Nigeria really needs to up this now. Good play again there by a Nazi. He plays for Transpan Spore of Turkey. And he's uh, 
43 caps, one of the most experienced players in this Nigerian team. Again, Omuro long, and that could be a lost ball. Bounces back onto the pitch. And we're about 15 minutes into this first half. Still Nigeria nil, Senegal nil. If you just joined us from the Hive in Northwest London, this friendly against Sen against Senegal. Nigeria started off well, but certainly Senegal would definitely come back to this game and had the best chance of the match when a shot hit the inside of the post and bounced out. And here they come again, ball in. And Nigeria again, well played, beautifully played there by a Nazi. Draws the free kick. Obviously in the World Cup group, which they're warming up to, Nigeria top their group on six points. They've got this double header coming up the next two games against Cameroon. So it's an important game for this. Good possession. Keep oh dear, he puts his, puts his defender. That's surely a foul. Yeah, a bad foul there. It was a bad pass there. It put Balogun really under pressure there. Leon Balogun, who plays for Mainz, a bad pass to the goalkeeper. He puts his hand up and apologises. But he certainly did put him under pressure there. That could pay the goalie for tonight. But Senegal now have a quite a dangerous free kick just outside the box on the right hand side. Big tall players from Senegal up for this, looking for another corner. Probably now thinking they've got some chance here against this Nigerian keeper who started off very shakily today. And the ball will be floated in. Tries the shot and very well headed away by Inacho back for that one. But he saw the gap there and, and had a chance there, but well headed away by Inacho, doing his defensive shooters extremely well there. And it's the second corner now for Senegal. Again, every Nigerian player back, and pretty much every Senegal player also in the Nigerian half. And again, it'll be floated in. Deep this time, free header again. But that was easy for the keeper there. But again, uh, the Nigerian defence there, another player unmarked. But they've dealt with this one. And hopefully now they can regroup and get the ball forward. Not the best of kicks there again, but a mistake there by Senegal player Unguete, who also plays for Metz in Belgium. A throw for Senegal now, just halfway inside their own half. Again, a bit of a mistake there by the Nigerian defence. Again, a little bit shaky. Ekon and Balogun looking a little bit shaky in the back there for Nigeria. Balogun with nine. Both of them, Ekong and Balogun both played nine games for Nigeria. And again, cut out there. It was Ian Acho looking for the through pass. Senegal now can bring the ball forward. Good running off the ball by the Senegalese players. Inacho will try and close him down. And not the best of passes there. And take, you can probably notice there, really quite windy now here at the Hive and Barnet. Ball played back. by Sané, who plays his football in Hanover in Germany. Playing in the back, does well there. Number nine, good pass there. By Juf, who plays obviously in this country for Stoke City. The top player, Mané, obviously not starting tonight. Plays his football, Liverpool. 
probably suits the Nigeria quite quite well actually. Nigeria now can regroup, bring the ball forward, build from the back again. And Didi plays his football also in England for Leicester City. We've had a resurgence in recent weeks since Ranieri was sacked by the English champions. And here he is on the ball again, Didi. Gives the ball away, but that's nicely tied up now by Olegon. But a Nazi wins the foul two players close him down they realize he's such an important player for nigeria but he draws the foul and there'll be a free kick to the super eagles plays it short to a wobi who seems to have swapped position slightly or oh, a bad foul there referee plays the advantage there is no advantage so he brings it back for a free kick Omaru was certainly taken out there, but the referee doesn't seem to have a word with the Senegal player. It'll be a free kick for Nigeria. Ianacho up front. Moses moves forward as well on the wing. And Nigeria now the first proper free kick deep into, uh, hopefully, into the penalty area. And maybe there's a chance they can do something. Long ball to the edge of the box, looking for Ianacho. That's headed away. Awobi swap rank, uh, flanks again. Brings the ball through to Chigeli. Back to Awobi. Looks inside. To Nadidu. Plays it back to Balagun, who plays it back to the keeper. And uh, the Nigerian fans not very happy with that. They did have the ball deep into the Senegal half, but decided to bring the ball back. And they win the throw just inside the Senegal half. Back now, Ekpe brings it forward. That's a better pass, lovely touch there. This is better, this is much better. First good chance now, Dixon inside, plays the size chance. Oh, just cleared. A great chance, what a good move, the best move of the game by Nigeria. Lovely football from Simon Moses there. But Inacho couldn't quite get on the end of it but much better football. When Nigeria play with that pace, they do look dangerous. But here comes Senegal again. A lot of room here on the right-hand side for Wagyu. Cuts inside, tries one, but that's over the bar. But Wagyu has a lot of space there on that flank. And I think Nigeria really must do something about that. Maybe one of their midfield players to suddenly need a bit of tracking back, but they're very slow to track back there, Nigeria. But that was a really good move, best move of the game so far. Akpe will take this goal kick. See the win there, just hits the halfway line. Big header that was by Nundoy. goes off for another throw to Senegal. Nigeria now can bring the ball forward again. Looking forward, not the best of passes there for Moses. And here comes Senegal again with Juf. Wagyu again, not the best of passes. Now away they come now. But good defending by Kayete. He plays his football also in this country for West Ham. And the Nigerian fans now in good voice in this main stand. It's absolutely freezing here. 
maybe they're huddling together, keeping warm. Trying to get some atmosphere in this ground, which normally holds 6,000 fans, but I'm guessing there's about 1,500 here tonight. Uh, it wasn't very well advertised in London, it has to be said, this match. Uh, let's hope uh, the game on Monday against Burkina Faso gets a few more in. But the fans seem to be enjoying it so far, although the game still, if you just joined us, still nil-nil. The ref brings the physio on. I think it's a Nazi that uh, took a knock there. Not moving much, doesn't look that good. 19 minutes gone here. If you just joined us, it's Nigeria nil, Senegal nil. And this quite important friendly before the World Cup qualifiers come up. Played at the Hive Stadium in Barnet, which is in northwest London. A big uh, Nigerian population in London, about 100,000 Nigerians, but not well attended tonight. And still down. This doesn't look particularly good here. And not really moving here. And one physio is running off to bring on someone else. This doesn't look very good. And they're looking for the stretcher. It looked like quite an innocuous challenge there. Two players in on him. But he's not moving. This does not look good. They're looking for a stretcher. And this could be uh, the last ball kicked. for a Nazi. Playing his 44th game today. And he's really not moving here. This is certainly worrying. A very, very important player for Nigeria. And you can see the stretchers there. And uh, subs warming up now. As I said, it, it didn't look like a massive challenge, but he's really not moving. It was a shame because he certainly, without doubt, was the best player, I think, for Nigeria so far in this game. And let's hope he's okay and back playing soon. As you know, played his football in Turkey uh, and probably would have featured the game next Monday against Burkina Faso, but unfortunately, that's the end for him today. And you can see his Nigerian teammates looking a little bit worried. And they're certainly taking his time to get him off. It's hard to tell what, what it is from, for this angle. Maybe a leg injury. And the Senegal player is also coming over looking concerned. A bit of a hush around the ground. As I said, it didn't look like a big, a big challenge there, but uh, it's certainly looking serious. While well, there's a break in play, uh, Senegal certainly the better of the team. They had a disappointing campaign in the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations, which was in Gabon. Uh, they were certainly were tipped to win that title after a great start to the tournament. But they did go out to Cameroon on penalties. And a round of applause you can hear from the Nigeria fans. There's a blanket on him, but it really doesn't look good. This is a real worry. Senegal currently third in their group for the World Cup qualifiers. They've got three points in two matches. And being stretched off. 
It looks like he's been stretched straight off. We'll tell you, I'm guessing to an ambulance. We'll see. We'll, we'll, if we hear any more news about this, we obviously will let you know. But it looks like he's going not to the tunnel, straight off out of the ground. So it doesn't look good. And the substitution. Coming on is John Ogu. John Ogu is coming on to take his place, midfield player. John Ogu, who plays his football in Israel for Happy Al Besheva, who uh, obviously done extremely well in Israel, qualified for the Champions League uh, group stages for the first time in their history very important player for them in Israel and now thankfully the game is back underway Moses plays it back there to Echeje back to Moses long ball good ball Merton Achelli did, did very well controlled it well and there's a foul I think he was kind of looking for that he totally lost control of the ball drew the foul and uh, after a bit of a dodgy start he's now coming into this game plays his football obviously at Sporting Gijon in Spain and that was good uh, good football there for Moses and Echegeli and it's Moses will be taking this free kick and again you know, apart from uh, a couple of players a lot of players forward Balogun certainly gone forward for Nigeria played it that was a good ball to the near post quite a nice one played it short to the near post but unfortunately, it was cleared for uh, another throw. Good tracking back by Moses. Echicelli uh, over hit there by Ndidi. Best of kicks. Looking for a foul, certainly asking for a foul. But so far, this game is pretty even. Still, the best chance of just joining us went to Senegal, hit, hit the inside of the post 10 minutes in. That's been the best chance so far. Oh, not happy with that. My Jim fans not happy, but to me, it certainly nudged them off the ball. Letting Jelly. And that'll be a free kick to Senegal. Taken by Nadia. Long ball on the kick. Oh my word! Wow. It looked like quite easy, but the goalkeeper wasn't going to take any chances and just push the ball over the bar for another corner. He certainly has looked under pressure from the high ball so far this evening. And what, once again, he didn't take any chances. And it's another corner on the other side now, taken by Goye. Plays it short. Blocked. And the ball now played back. And the long ball forward again. Cleared. Another throw just inside the Nigeria half. Still 0 0. 28 minutes gone so far here in northwest London. This friendly between Nigeria and Senegal. With important games coming up. Two games for London and Nigeria. They've got one on Monday again that we'll be covering for you against Burkina Faso. Hopefully, you can join us for that as well.
closing down there by Musa. Balogun plays it back. Plays it short again. And Senegal really closing this high press. They certainly play this high press well, Senegal. But Nigeria thankfully putting the ball away. And now hopefully can build something. But again, a pass into no man's land. It will be moving forward there, but really there was nothing there. But that was a misplaced pass, and Moses could pick the ball up. The con Ogul. On the roll. Ekon again. Nice turn. That's a foul there. Nice turn there by Nadidi, that was. But again, a pass that really goes to no Nigerian players at all. And Senegal now can bring the ball forward. Kulabai back to the keeper. Not the best of clearances now. Some room on the left here. It's a jelly, but they decide not to use him. Balogun brings the ball forward. Inside to Nadidi. To Ogu. To Omuro. Well, one, two. That's a bit better now for Nigeria. Plays the ball in, looking for Moses. Can't bring the ball down. It's cleared again. But this is a slightly better spell for Nigeria, who win the foul. Another player down. Tins have got elbow, though, in the midriff. And it's Ndidi, who obviously plays for Leicester, who gets up gingerly. And it'll be a free kick. Balogun. Wobi had a quiet game so far, the Arsenal player. Sort of been flitting around, sort of a free roll, but hasn't really been looking for the ball that much, which obviously does so well for Arsenal. Long raking pass, unfortunately doesn't find his man. Senegal long pass again, no one there. And that should be easy now for Balogun to bring the ball forward. Senegal now, but well picked up there by Nadidi. Certainly growing in this game. Here is again Nadidi, does well. Nice turn, that's better. Good ball in for Moses looking for it. But he's trying to get his shot away. Oh, over hit. Oh. Over hit by Musa. Good move there. And the <laughs> Nigerian fans here. Booing their own man, not happy with that overhit pass. Shame, because that was a very good chance, a good move there by Nigeria. But a wasted ball. It remains nil-nil, 32 minutes go to go. It's gone here. On ball, should be easier for Nigeria to cope with. Back it goes to the keeper. Long ball again, no challenge, no no challenge there at all. And Nadidi there did well, but the referee said it was a foul. Nadidi apologises to the Senegal player. It was Sane, obviously, there's Sane, the Hanover player that was fouled. And the tall Senegalese defender. Coyote, long ball there. This is better now. Juf plays the little ball in, laid back there. But again, thankfully, oh dear, that was a very late again. Wins the free kick. Again, Nigeria lose the ball in poor positions. Well, one back, lose the ball again. 
And Senegal ball over the top now. Gets the header in. But, uh, didn't travel anywhere. Well, good block. That's better defending there by Nigeria. And the ball goes off for a Senegal throw. Ball the top, chance there, and uh, it's another corner given by the referee. Another corner. Guaye floats it in. Keeper comes for that's better. That's better for keeper. Call for the ball, made it his own, and that will give this keeper a bit of confidence after a bit of a shaky start. Ten minutes to go to half time. Still nil nil in this friendly here in London. Between Nigeria. Oh good football there. Kept the ball in Awobi. Now Nigeria could break now. Here comes Moses. Good ball, they're looking for Inacho. Didi. Here's a chance here, tries to oh, cross the ball, cross the ball. Inacho there, when really he dragged his shot, should have done better. Good opportunity there. In the last 10 minutes, Nigeria had the best two chances of the game and they haven't taken that that was one of the best chances they've had so far this half it remains nil nil Nigerian fans singing, please give us a goal. It's freezing cold here. They want to see a goal. To me, this keeper, two players, two Senegal players, really quick on this keeper. They can realize that he's a bit of a weak link in this team. And Nigeria can bring the ball forward now. Ndidi to Omaru. Back to Nadidi. That's a great pass. That's a great ball in on the back. A chance here for the number seven. A ball across there, but no one there. Musu again. But they played the ball far too early, and there was no one there on the end of it. And Senegal now can bring the ball forward. Looking for Wagu again, has played well so far for Senegal. Moses plays it back. And again, Nigeria played the ball nicely out for the back. This is better. Long ball there, looking for Musa. Does well. And that's the throw to Nigeria. Seven minutes to go, plus probably long amount of injury time after that, what looked quite a horrendous injury to a Nazi who was stretched off earlier if he just joined us. Nice turn corner no the re lines in there the reference assessment has given a goal kick to Senegal which the DA will take.
Info to Nigeria. Nice turn again by Nadidi, but giving the ball away. There's a chance here. There's a chance for Senegal. He's got past one. Nani Lever tries one, but not the best of shots there by Inundoy. Didn't really get hold of it, and it was a comfortable save. Oh, dear me. Again, overplaying the ball slightly in the back, Nigeria. Here's Awobi, plays it inside. The DD. Okay, here comes Senegal again. Good defending there by Amor. Musa cuts inside, but again, crowded up by three Senegalese players. That's better football there. It's Wagyu again, floats the ball in, the keeper comes, and again, flaps at it slightly, but manages to get away with it again. Long kick using this wind, looking for Inacho. Well dealt with there by Senegal. Brought away by a bit of a tackle and goes into the hoardings there. And joined the hoardings, looking for a free kick. Nothing given by the referee. And Nigeria can build again. Still nil-nil. 41 minutes to go, uh, gone. But obviously, quite a lot of injury time still to play in this half. to Inacho coming deep, looking for the ball, not had much service, good one on the flank, that's a great ball, a chance here for Enchele, oh, over hits it again, both flanks, that was Enchele there with an over hit pass, here are Mustanao, two over hits passes, and still arguing there, Nadoy still arguing, he thought he was fouled early, went crashing into the advertising hoardings and I had a word with the referee but the referees tried to calm him down said it wasn't a foul and the referee saying it's a free kick the coyote of West Ham will take Nigeria win the ball back. Can they build again now? Didi again, overhit pass. Can he get there? No, he can't. Slightly overhit again. Finally, Didi, there's a lot of, lot of room on that flank for Musa, but it was an overhit pass. Goal kick to Senegal. again long pass easy de dealt with there Didi loses the ball oh dear me with the keeper falls kindly for him this rolling out is not really good because they're getting closed down very quickly by the Senegal players and it's a little bit dangerous Ikejeli now can build, brings the ball forward. Oh. That was a Wobi who's not playing very well, I have to say. That was late. That certainly was a late challenge there on Ogu. He picks himself up. Didi to Ogu. To Ekon, back to the keeper. Building now again. Senegal really are closing down 
very high up of the pitch and it really has worked for them so far in this half because the Nigerian defenders are sort of making quite a lot of mistakes when they are closed down. Musa on the overlap. Again, not the best of passes and draws the foul for another free kick. This game so far littered with free kicks. As we have the last minute of normal time. But I'm sure there'll be quite a lot of injury time. And indeed there is four minutes. Four minutes of injury time. And here comes Senegal again, two up front, but a poor pass, and Juve up front, it really has been starved of service so far. But there's two up front here, here he is Juve again, but again over hit, a little nudge off the ball there, a little nudge, the referee says no. Again, closing down. Offside given. Senegal could build again. Nigeria quite deep. Expected the long free kick there, didn't come. There's a chance for Senegal, good movement. Sal. And Wagner there. It's been one of those games, so many errors from both players, both teams. And this friendly so far, nil nil. About 1,500 fans here made the journey here to northwest London, normally home of Barnet FC, who are in the English League Division 2 the lowest division in the Football League and they've been in this ground for about three, four years. That's a good ball over the top, good defending though by Kulabali. And it's a throw. It's better here's a Wobi and again Moses in that show. Here's a chance, here's a great chance, Mosbell put it wide. Oh, he's put it wide. Inacho again with his second really good chance of the match. And really with the keeper to beat, he side footed it and it went wide of the post. Inacho, who in fairness bangs the goals in for Manchester City whenever he plays, which isn't that much this season, has missed two guilt head chances so far for Nigeria but really good pressing there by Moses won the ball back Awobi was in there as well and it really should have been 1-0 but it remains goalless with a couple of minutes to go here in this first half Foul there on Musa. And a chance now with one minute to go of injury time. Nigeria committing players but playing it short. Don't know why, because there was five players up for Nigeria, but they went short in the end. Now there's a chance to bring the ball forward with a Wobi. Gets the ball back, looking for movement ahead of him. There isn't much. Ogu, and that's half time there in this friendly. It's Nigeria nil, Senegal nil. We'll be back in 15 minutes with the second half.
kind of the final whistle of the ticket off the bridge tomorrow, even though it's on the match day itself, and that complimentary ticket. Also, very, very important announcement if you have made use of our car park facilities here at La Five. In order to leave the uh, stadium uh, area, you will need a token to get out of the car park. If you purchase that token, I'm Congrazioli Bar, my main club shop for the public ticket office, so uh, make sure if you are parked in our car park here at La Five, you do have the appropriate token in order to leave La Five here tonight. You can purchase those from Congrazioli's from the club shop and also from the ticket office.
to the Hive Stadium, Barnet, Northwest London, for this friendly between Nigeria and Senegal. We don't know if you're picking up this feed, but if you did miss the first half, it's nil-nil. Quite a poor game, to be quite honest. Ian Atch has missed two good chances, and Senegal hit the inside of the bar. Those have been the best chances of the game. No substitutions as far as we're away, aware, and Senegal now bring the ball away, now attacking right to left to the empty stand. There's about 1,500 fans here, mainly all Nigeria fans. And uh, the stadium holds 6,000, so not the best of turnouts, but it is a freezing cold night here in Northwest London. Mbengu, long ball in, here he is again. Free kick to Senegal. In the first half as well, um, the Nigerian player, a Nazi, had a really bad injury and was stretched off. Free kick now to Senegal, bring a lot of players forward. Guaye will take it, floats it in and everyone misses it and it goes off for a goal kick Akpe will take it had a bit of a had one save to make in the first half flapping a few crosses looked a little bit shaky to be quite honest playing his fifth game for the national side But the pretty much 100% Nigerian fans here would love to see a win. Try and keep warm, if anything. It's a freezing cold night here. And the DD fouled there, and it's uh, not back to the Senegal keeper. Who's Umdiai? Good play by Imuro. Looking for Nadidi. Nods it on. Getty there loses the ball. Moses looking for it. And Senegal managed to shield the ball out for a goal kick. Nil nil. This game really does need a goal. Friendly important to both teams. Nigeria got two very big World Cup qualifiers coming up against Cameroon. They lead their group, they won both their games so far. And the first time these two countries have met since 2006, when Nigeria won that particular game, 1-0. Ndidi. Nothing up front, no movement up front at all. Inacho trying to win the ball, does so, loses out again. But every time Nigeria get the ball in midfield, there's very little movement up front. And that really has been the problem so far for Nigeria. Juf. And that's a foul there. Foul on Mungbebgu. And another free kick 
for Senegal. The big men, Koulibaly for Napoli, the Napolese player, coming up for this free kick. Mbegu standing over the ball. Two men in the wall. It's Prenny right foot on the near post again, and the keeper did very well actually. He had two players in front of him, he could have been unsighted. And a good free kick there, trying to get in on the near post, but well saved there. That's a little nudge there, and that'd be a free kick. Hopefully, that'll do the keeper a bit of confidence there. Had a bit of a iffy first half. But that was a good save. You're naturally looking for the foul. That's better tackling there. There's a run here, but again. Senegal will bring the ball away. Better pressing, better pressing for Nigeria. Senegal pressed very well in the first half up front, and Nigeria have started this half definitely pressing hard at the pitch. Coyote, the West Ham player, gets the ball back to the keeper, Ndi. Plays it to Koulibaly, the Na player from Napoli. Ndoy. Long, wide, ball goes out. Balogun. Iheanacho coming deep again, looking for the ball. Awobi. Oh, he's had a bad, giving the ball away. And there's a chance here, a great chance. And that really was a good chance. That was Musa Sal, <coughs> which was the keeper to beat. He tried to chip him. But that ball went way over the bar. But again, it was Awobi who lost the ball in a bad position there for Nigeria. Really hasn't settled to this game, the Arsenal midfielder. And that was a really good chance again for Senegal. Should have been 1 0. 52 minutes gone, Nigeria 0, Senegal 0 here at the Hive Stadium, Northwest London, for this friendly game. The Kong. Strong work there by Juve. Wins the ball back, the Stoke City player. Oh, this is the chance now for Senegal. It's Juve now with a good chance. Looking to put the ball across, but good defending, good tracking back there. I think that was Nadidi who was tracking back well there for Nigeria. But that was a good break and a good run there by Juve, the Stoke City player. And Senegal again settled better in this half. 53 minutes gone. Still nil-nil. A corner now taken by Goye, the Everton player. Floats it in right-footed, but not a good one at all. And that was easy for Inacho to deal with, but he gets the ball out back Goye. And again, Inacho does well. The keeper punches, missed it completely. It must be a chance, and they scored! Oh, the keeper flat. <coughs> and Senegal have taken the lead. They've taken the lead. We've been saying all game that the keeper's been flapping at the ball and he flapped one too many times. And the Senegal fans very happy with that. And it was well controlled. by Musa Sal, brought the ball down and put it into an empty net. But again, that has to go down as a mistake by the keeper, who had been saying all game has been flapping at the ball. He did it one too many times. 
And the score now here in this friendly, Nigeria nil, Senegal one. And hopefully now that should open the game up now. Well taken by Sal. And a good save there. Perspective shots. And Senegal now, this goal is doing their confidence a world of good. And Nigeria now really got up the pace so they want to get back into this game. So they find themselves behind with their own undoing, in fairness. Long ball in, headed away. Inacho again really needs a bit, bit more support up there. And here comes Senegal again with Coyote. Doy. easy for the Senegal defence to deal with. It's better football, here's Awobi. Look at what a gain, a misplaced pass by Awobi. Omuro to Awobi. Look at a gain, very little movement ahead of him. And again, another poor pass. He's having an absolute mare today, Awobi. Here he is again. Loses the ball again, and he's looking very, very frustrated out there, must be said. Ndoy. Oh, nutmeg. Nice play from Senegal. Couple of tricks, but they lose out. Here's a chance now. But again, good to find him by Senegal, who'd certainly been the better of the team, two, two teams this half. And here now come Nigeria again with Etijeli. Nothing really ahead of him. So the ball comes back again. And it's with Willie Mekong. Amura. Again, you look up front, very little movement. Musa's looking for the ball, hands in the air, exasperated. He wanted that ball quicker. But here's an overlap, a good defending. But most of the Leicester City player not happy at all with the service, which has been non-existent to him this half. And it still remains 1-0 to Senegal, who at the moment look very, very comfortable. Nice turn, nice layoff there. By Nugete. And here they come again. Ndoy. The overlap again. Plays the ball in and floats it wide. And Guayo there, the Everton player, it was like a sort of cross shot, but really he had a great chance and that should have been 2-0. And Nigeria really are not started this half particularly well. Probably the better of the two teams in the first half. And I think there'll be a sub, oh yes, I thought, I, I was about to say, I think they need a couple of substitutions. And Mr. Psychic here got it right because it looks like one or maybe even two players are going to come on. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was a Wobi that came off. <laughs> and here they come again. Juf, who had a poor half of the first half, certainly getting into this game now. The Stoke City player. But that was a misplaced pass there. See, there again, the ball again to nobody, and just Senegal just bring the ball back. <laughs> Sal, the goal scorer, couldn't quite get it there. And away they come again. 
Swan and Nguete. Nguete loses out, Iwobi, again, a misplaced pass. And that ball went out, there'll be two substitutions now. And I was right, I was absolutely right. Nwobi, who has had a very, very poor game, it has to be said, is coming off. And Oglarara is coming on. And also coming off, Moses, who had a very good half of the first half, done nothing this half. And Isaac Success, the Watford player, is coming on in his place. Who Watford is a very, very near actually where we are now. He's literally, he's got a 10 minute drive home. Muster that was fouled. The DD comes over, so Ian Atcho has come over to take it. Chance here goes down, Whistle went down there, nothing given. Here's the chance here, quick through, no one there. Good skill there by Nadidi, but there was no one there. But I don't know why Inacho's taking the free kicks from out there. That doesn't make any sense at all to me. Just joined us. It's Nigeria nil, Senegal one. Musa Sal with the goal after a mistake in the goal. From Akpei. And here comes Senegal again. Mistake there. Now here's the chance to Inacho. Not the best of passes, but he wins the ball. Players in the box if he can find them. The TD <coughs> might try one. He does. Good save. <coughs> that was better. Inacho to the TD. Tries his luck. And the DI was equal to it. And it's the first corner of the task from the Nigerian players. Musa comes over to take it, the Leicester City player. The Nigeria fans desperate to see a goal. They've come out on a freezing cold night. They'd love to see a goal here tonight, this friendly. And again, not the best of corners. And there's a break on here. There's a break, it's two on two now. A great chance for Senegal. Does he have the pace, Duke? He does have the pace, oh, he's hauled back! Oh, he's in trouble here. Is that a red card? Was he the last man? Oh, he's got away with it. It's a yellow. Referee saying someone was tracking back, but a very good break from Senegal. Juve showing his pace. Hauled back, just the yellow card. He took one for the team. Sane coming off, and Saeed Omane, the Liverpool player, is coming on. The top player, the man who missed the penalty in their last tournament against Cameroon. But they really need a run out. Sane comes off, played well, worked hard. But the player that I'm sure a lot of people here tonight have come to see, Saeed Omane of Liverpool, comes on up front. been in great form obviously he was away for the African nations corner. and on it comes boos for the Nigerian fans and on it comes into the box he goes Senegal have this free kick oh dipping just wide 
Not a bad free kick. From Mubegu. And it looks like Senegal now. Juve dropping back. It's just one up front. Mane up front by himself. And Juve will probably come in to uh, help him when he can. And there's a chance already now. Sal, the goal scorer, looking for Mane. And here he is, first touch. And it's a good bar, the Senegal fans like that. Ball comes across, a little nudge I thought there, not seen by the ref. Good ball, here they come again. Ball comes across, the keeper spilt it again. Here's a chance. And they get away with it again, Nigeria. Chance now to break. Can they bring the ball forward? That's better. Must have been again. It was an overhit pass. That really has been the problem tonight. That really important pass has been overhit every single time this evening. And it'll be a throw to Senegal. Begu would take it. Mane comes deep, doesn't get it. Gets it now, strong play. Mane does well. Good defending there, that was better defending by Nigeria. Crowding out Wagwe. He's played well over there on his fourth game. Ball comes across, good defending. Senegal certainly looking the better team in this second half. Bit of space here for Sane. Coming deep to get the ball. Good football. Ball comes across. But again, there's three on three here. Players getting back for Nigeria. Inside the post, just wide there. Trungwaye. And it remains Nigeria nil, Senegal one. 67 minutes gone in this friendly here in Northwest London. There's not many Senegal fans here. I, think I can count them. There's eight of them, but they're making all the noise this evening. Seeing their team win 1 0. <coughs> Long ball over to Ian Acho. Now is he in? Go, oh, he's offside. Lines was giving him offside. If you just joined us, apologies for any problems with the feed. It remains in this friendly Nigeria nil, Senegal one. Musa Sal with the goal after defensive error. Mane is on now for Senegal. Awobi has gone off for uh, Nigeria, didn't have a very good game. And the news that Anazi was stretched off in the first half of Nigeria, looking like quite a serious injury. Apart from that, Inacho's had two fantastic chances for Nigeria and Senegal hit the inside of the post in the first half. Senegal definitely the stronger team in this half and have this one goal lead in this friendly. The first time the two teams have played each other since 2006. And there's a foul. Sal, the goal scorer, being taken down. And it'll be a free kick to Senegal. Just run through the teams very, very quickly. Echilele and Go, Amuro, Ekong, Balogun, Musa, Isaac, Coyote, Iheanacho. 
John Ogu came on and Nadidi. That's your Nigerian side. And it's Nundai, Wagu, Coyote, Kulabali, Mbengu, Sane, Nadoi, Guaye, Juf, Sal, and Mane for Senegal, who lead 1 0 with 20 minutes to go in this friendly. Here, live from Northwest London, Hive Stadium, Barnet Football Club's grounds, freezing cold night. And there's men over here for Senegal. Ball floated in, good defending. And that's easy. And away come now Nigeria. And there's a foul, number eight. That's Isaac, plays for Watford, who literally 10 minutes from this ground. First touch looking lively. And here's a chance for Nigeria to get back into this game. There's about 1,500 fans here, of which most of them are Nigerian fans. Nigerians who live in London. There's about 100,000 Nigerians who live in London. A lot have come here to support their team. And they love to see Nigeria get back into this game. Let's hope they do. I have to say Senegal being the better team in this second half. Nigeria shaded in the first half. And Iheanacho missed two really, really good chances. But here's a chance now. He's over the ball as we speak. And into the wall it went by Isaac's success. Sorry, that was, uh, I beg your pardon. That was Inunokaro who put the ball into the net, into the uh, wall. And another corner for Nigeria. Isaac's going to take it. No, he's not. He's just going to kick the ball off. And it's going to be Musa, who in the first half had a couple of great chances and great balls and overhit the ball every time. He's going to take it. Ian Acho's come short for a bit of trickery. And oh dear. Well, Ian Acho came over to help Musa. I don't know why. He should be in the middle looking, you know, in the center of the goal. And what a waste of a call that was for Nigeria. Who remain a goal down to Senegal. 72 minutes gone. First time these two teams have played each other since 2006. And that was good closing down. And he's injured or he's hurt himself. He's gone down there, Musa. He's gone down and Senegal kicked the ball off. And this doesn't look good. It looks like his groin has gone. As I said, uh, in the first half, there was uh, not a nice looking injury to a Nazi who had to be stretched off. <coughs> and this doesn't look very good either. Again, apologies if you didn't get the feed earlier on, but you're here now. We're live from Northwest London the home of Barnet Football Club, who play uh, in the English League Division 2. Sort of mid-table in the English Division 2. In northwest London. About 1,500 fans, mainly Nigerian expats are here. And Monday we're here again at the same stadium for the game. Another friend against Burkina Faso, who are obviously in the same group as Senegal in the World Cup qualifying group. And you missed the goal, unfortunately. It was Musa Sal who scored the goal for Senegal and it was I'm afraid to say an error from Akpey in goal who has been flapping at quite a lot of uh, crosses in the first half and he came for the ball dropped it and it fell to Sal who brought the ball on his brought the ball down and put it straight into the near post but it has to go down really as a, a defensive error for that goal and another substitution, a couple of substitutions here. Mm -hmm. 
Mumbegu coming off for Senegal. Taking his time, wasting a bit of time with this 1 0 lead. Number four, who is not on the, sorry, it's uh, Umbegu, who's coming on. For Senegal. One nil they lead, 15 minutes to go. Nigeria looking to get back into this game. Ian Acho, who took a knock there. Freezing cold nights, slight wind, ball holding up, not the best conditions for football. And here comes Senegal getting good play but slightly overrun. And Nigeria can bring the ball away with Onunkaru. Back to the keeper. Success. Ogu, who came on earlier. The Hapoel best Sheva player in Israel. Had a good game so far, but that one's over here. And that really has been the problem for Nigeria tonight. So many misplaced passes. And they haven't been able to get any kind of momentum in this game whatsoever. That really has been the problem if you're just tuning in. There's been no fluency at all to the Nigeria play. They haven't been hunting in packs. It's, it, it really has the full stamp of a typical friendly. And that has been the problem. And Senegal have taken their chance the one real good chance they had well they had one good chance in the second half which hit the inside of the post but one goal divides these two teams <laughs> could have barely trying to do some trickery here now's a chance now too bunch there, too many players. Good ball out to success. Good first touch. Can he cut inside? Brings the ball, handball. He handballed it. Well, he missed it anyway. He clearly handled the ball, tried to punch the ball in, but didn't manage to do that either, unfortunately. But that was good play for success. He's looked very lively since he's come on for Nigeria. And here they come again. Omaro plays the ball in, looking for Iheanacho. But that's ties it up by Senegal. And that's a good challenge there by Balogun. Came straight in there. No holds barred. Made sure he won the ball and it goes off for another throw. And they can build again now with Koulibaly, the player who plays for Napoli in the Italian Serie A. Good player for Senegal. Slip for the keeper. And the ball goes off again. I've never seen so many throw-ons in one game, really. The ball has been off the pitch, but it's been on more, more than been on the pitch, to be quite honest. It's been one of those games. There we are, another throw. 78 minutes gone. Nigeria trailing 1-0 to Senegal in this friendly. They've got the game the same uh, ground on Monday against Burkina Faso. Obviously been on a good run recently. Good results. And uh, well, I predicted a draw before this game. But they trail at the moment. Here's success. Wins the foul. Does he win the foul? Well, he's given a booking here. No, he's going to book him. He's booking him for going a little bit hard there. On Sane. Salif Sane plays his football in Germany. For Hanover. And here he is again. Probably doesn't want the ball after just getting clattered. But there we go. 
Plays it safe back to the keeper. And here's Mane now. Looks up, plays the ball down now. Here they come now, a chance, here's the Anacho, a great chance to equalise! Oh, he's gone down! He's gone down, penalty! <coughs> penalty given, he's going to be off! He's going to be on a yellow card! Well, and really there, he surely was the last man! Finally! <coughs> a good ball through there by Nigeria, Anacho's on it, it looked like he overran it, he flicked the ball past the keeper, fortunately we've got no actual replays on the speed. And it really, surely was the last man, should have been sent off. It's a friendly, the referee was lenient, gave a yellow card. Bianacho drew the foul and he's picked himself up, the Manchester City player. And he himself will take the penalty. And a great chance now to become level. He's already missed two sitters tonight. Is it third time lucky for Bianacho? Here we go. Up against Nadeo in the Senegal goal. A great chance now to equalise, steps up and scores! Sends the keeper the wrong way. And the 1,500 Nigerian fans here have gone absolutely crazy. Delighted to see their team back. 81 minutes gone, Nigeria won, Senegal won. The first time in this game, there's been a decent pass through the middle, utilising the pace of Iheanacho, and it pays dividends. One all. Now, who wants it? Who wants this win? Or will they settle for a draw? <laughs> and here they come again. The crowd really getting behind them now. Looking for Iheanacho again. Oh, he's four looking, looking for a foul. Not giving the ref, waves it away. But this is so much better now. Onyokaro is brought down, foul. Foul there by Guaye, the Everton player. And are we going to see a winner here tonight in London? Iheanacho's over every free kick. I, I, I don't know why. Iheanacho's sort of been taking everything. He's come back now looking to float it in. Men forward, looking for the header, away. <laughs> back it comes. Away it goes, another throw to Nigeria. Echigeli will take it. Had a good game. And they can build for the back again. Amarua also had a good, good success, was blocked there. No foul, good tackle there. And Senegal now looking for the pace. Of Mane, oh, foot was quite high. Yes, indeed, the ref agrees. Foot was high, weren't happy about that. Ekong not happy, foot was high, ref gave it. And he said to the ref, Look, there's been more than one off the ball. Ogu will take it, gets the ball back now. Ekong it again. The Nigerian fans trying to get behind their team, looking for a winner with six minutes to go. But here they come again. Amaru brings the ball away. Really got better, had an iffy start. <coughs> but it's really built into this game. Here come Senegal game now, looking for this winner. Amaru again does well. Coyote sees the ball off. Throw into Senegal. Six minutes to go. 
foul given. And Senegal now bringing players forward. They know it's a friendly. Kick, the ball's kicked away there. And Senegal now, the big men coming forward for the back. Koulibaly comes forward. Coyote comes forward. Everyone back for Nigeria. Can they defend this ball? They've looked a bit iffy from the big ball. Has to be said, especially the keeper. But not the best. The free kicks. And Nigeria can break. Here's a chance. Success is free. Can he find him? He can. And go oh, but again. That's been a problem this half. So many over overcooked passes, undercooked passes. And success now. Looking for the free kick, gets it. Kind of looking for the free kick, but he wins it. And now with five minutes to go, there's a chance. Can Nigeria find a winner here in London, this big friendly game? Don't forget Monday, we're here again against Burkina Faso. Join us for that. But can they find a winner in this game? Everyone forward for Nigeria. Two man wall. Floats it in, there, puts a head oh! Hasn't got out yet, it has now. Good chance. I think it was Omarua, I think, there from the back with a header. Sorry, there's no replays on this feed. Four minutes to go. Nigeria won, Senegal won in this friendly from London. You join us live from London. Good header by Ogu. Looks like a really good player. Strong. And here comes Senegal again. Oh. Referee gives the free kick. Three minutes to go here in northwest London. <laughs> Tietju's moved up front now, helping Sonny up front for Senegal. Senegal build from the back. kick that was Guaye the Everton player fouled and he leaves it for Koulibaly to take it Guaye again looking for the ball good run well defended tidy back it comes again to Guaye good play there goes past success looks at the ball over the top there's a chance here but the linesman puts his flag up timed his run slightly off there and that was um, Juf who made the run the Stoke City player from the English Premier League who didn't time his run didn't even look along the line two minutes to go of normal time nothing to divide these two teams or oh, a slip there slip and a handball but does well Recovered really well. Oh, that's lovely. The crowd enjoyed that. Well done, Ekon. Did really well there, William Ekon. Slipped, got up, won the ball. Little shimmy, wins the free kick, and another booking. That's the fifth booking of the game. <coughs> John Ogu standing over the ball. Players moving forward. Ekon and Balogun move forward from the back. The two tall Nigerian defenders, centre-backs, been quite steady tonight, it has to be said. But it's played short in the end. And here's success. Handball, surely a handball. Not given, cuts inside. Surely a push. Oh, he's given it the other way. Crowd not happy with that. 
And now a minute to go. Let's see how much injury time there is here in London. Waiting for the ball to be put up. I'm my guessing there'd be no more than about two minutes. There's been one injury in the second half. Two or three minutes, probably no more. Two minutes. Two minutes of injury time. Not long to go. It has to be said, it hasn't been the best of games. Nigeria started the brighter, Senegal got into it, hit the bar, and then Nigeria put the best team in the first half. Senegal certainly, I'd say, were the best team in the second half, got the goal, but since the goal, Nigeria have looked stronger. Lovely football there in front of us. Lovely football for Omaruo, who's played really well today, actually. Balogun, back it goes. Oh, Charlie, he actually couldn't quite get in there. Win the ball back though. Can we see him? Can we see a winner with two minutes to go? In action now. Turns, shoots. Oh my word! Just wide in the post. <coughs> Turned on a sixpence. <coughs> and just wide. And I think that could be the last chance of this game. As some of the fans think that was it. And start leaving their seats. About 1,500 fans here tonight in a ground that normally holds 6,000. Not that Barnet really ever gets 6,000. They get about this most Saturdays. And I think that was probably the last chance of the night. Ian Acho scored one, missed three good chances. That was probably the most difficult chance of the three that he's missed tonight. He missed one absolute sitter in the first half, but took his penalty well and won the penalty. and been in the middle of most good things that Nigeria have done this evening. Not long to go. One last chance maybe for Senegal to play a long ball into the box. And that's it. No time for the free kick. It's ended here in London. Nigeria won. Senegal won. Honours even. I'd say a fair result on reflection. People running on the pitch to see their heroes, running on to see some of these great Nigeria players who are here in London tonight. And don't forget, back here on Monday against Burkina Faso, we'll be here. Thank you so much for joining us. Apologies any problems you've had with the feed tonight. Rest assured, we'll be here on Monday. Until then, have a very good evening, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye from London.
must make sure that you're on the right car park to be good use. The token to leave the ground here and those who push that that's really far from the cut shop when you can take it off this. Once again, we do ask please all supporters, you must leave the push. It's a very important safety announcement. Please, you must leave the push. Please do leave that picture. 